Let me put those up a little bit. I'm back in the room. He just went down to surgery and um, it's already like after 11, 10, it's like 11, 12. He was supposed to be first thing this morning down to surgery because he has to be NPO. And hold on, where's my phone? And um, it's that's difficult for him to be NPO because he doesn't understand. And then he asks for food and he gets upset when we tell him he can't have food. So um, he had some Valium to keep him calm. He did actually really well. Just wheeled him down to the OR. I'm running back up here just to pack really quick and to just, you know, contact some people and let, let them know, hey, he's in surgery. And, um, you know, hopefully if there's no complications or anything, then we are dipping out, dipping out when he gets done and gets back up here and wakes up. So that that's all I really have to tell you at the moment. Um, I'm going to start packing after I make some texts.
Check us out, everybody. We're leaving. We're leaving. Yay! We are going home. We are going home. Oh, I can take this off. Who's going? Who's got a green light? Everybody, they got a green light. Whew, it's hot in here. Let me crank up the air. This car was sitting in the sun. Hey, you ready to go home? We are just leaving. I don't know if these people are crossing. These people are coming so slow. I don't know what's happening. Can I just go? Are these people all turning? Okay, I'm just gonna go. I don't know what they're doing. Um, so it's 2.40, it's Thursday, March 28th, and we are officially discharged to go home. And let me tell you, we are happy, we are excited. This is the first time he's been outside in like 30 days. Right, Aiden? So we're gonna go home and we're gonna just, we're just gonna be home. We are gonna be home. I'm so happy. I might cry a little bit. I don't think the bus can get next to me. All right, we'll see you at home. He is home. Bear. Are you happy? Yeah. You got a hair back here. <laughs> He's been eating, as you can see by his shirt. Let's show them your back room, because we didn't show them how we painted. So here's how the painting came out. This door, um, I have to get white paint to do that door. That door is like, you see, it's like so broken anyways. Missing slots and filthy from all the food that's been thrown on it. So I'm going to have to clean that door and then paint it at some point. Um, but the rest of the painting was done. And um, the table that we have um, is real stupid and long and I'm not going to use it back here. So I ordered a different one that's just kind of like, Mommy, what you doing? What you doing? It's just a card table. Um, so he's on his computer. He's eating. <laughs> he's happy. And um, already getting food on the floor in here. You can see the carpet still looks dirty. I know it needs to be replaced. That is what I want to do. I want to replace it with either laminate or tile. Um, but there's just too much going on right now. And so that'll be, that'll be a project that we do down the road here. But for now, at least it's been somewhat cleaned and it was at least somewhat better than before. Um, the closet. So he's home, he's happy. He didn't have another echo. Careful, don't bring food in here. You're already getting food on the carpet. Oh my God, Aiden. You gotta eat out there, not in here. <laughs> and he thinks that's hilarious, I guess. And then you're gonna get food in your bed. Now you got rice on your shorts. This is why I can't keep anything clean around here, man. You gonna take a nap? No. Try to kill me. Tickle you? He's got his new office chair over there. It's already got food on it. The reason mm -hmm. I got a new office chair is because his his old chair was kind of like clothy, right? Um, his old chair was clothy, and so you can see how he eats. So food, food will get in the chair and like you can't, the cloth kind of material, you can't clean it real good. So this one is more like a vinyl chair and so it's easily wipeable. And then the, the new table I got is also vinyl on the top. So it'll be easily wipeable. Cause see the thing is, people don't understand how hard it is to keep clean after him because he, he just, when he eats, he makes a mess. As you can see, he'll sit, he'll take a bite, he'll get up, walk around, there's food on him, it falls off, it falls everywhere, then he steps on it. It's very difficult to keep things clean like that. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on making it easier so that everything's just cleanable and wipeable and whatever. So um, I had, before I left to go back to the hospital this morning, I started pork and rice 
Um, so that was cooking and it was ready when we got home. So he's eating that now. My daughter's eating. I'm about to get some food and rest. I'm going to go sit in my chair and use my massager and just take a minute. I'm going to eat. We're all eating. We're all going to relax. And when I'm done relaxing, there's still more things to do and cleaning to do. I'm going to take off this Easter weekend. We're going to rest. We're going to relax. We are going to clean, keep cleaning, keep getting things organized. Since I don't have a regular job that will be occupying all my time, I will now have time to do those things, which is actually fantastic because I've been wanting to do them forever. So that's going to be it for this video. Nice little short video. We're home. He's fine. We've got, um, he still has the lesions. Um, I guess what chance my arm's getting tired. Um, so he's going to follow up. We're going to follow up with cardiology at All Children's. Um, we're going to just keep continuing to follow with them. And they know him well. Um, they'll see him till he's like 22, I believe. Um, some people, some have said 22, some say 27. I'm not really sure which one is correct. Um, but he'll be, he'll be a cardiology patient for as, as long as he's got those lesions and they need to be monitored. Um, we don't have to follow up with an infectious disease. They said, um, there's, you know, he's the infection and the blood is gone and just, you know, the infection from the lesions is gone. It'll just take time for the the, the body to reabsorb those lesions. Got the dentist sent up, set up. They've spoken with all children's. They know the whole situation. They know the urgency of, you know, we have to get him into see them to have anything that still needs to be taken care of, taken care of, a good cleaning, that he has got to have antibiotics for that, and da 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 So all of that is in the works, and um, we're going to get through Easter. We're going to have a nice Easter. Um, probably uh, Monday we'll, we'll attempt to uh, do our first nature walk since he's been in the hospital. Um, Hopefully his energy is good for that. His energy seems okay, actually, and he had sedation today. But since he's been weaned off the Haldol, switching arms again because my arm's tired. Since he's been weaned off the Haldol, his mood has actually been better. He's been more himself, and he's not as tired. Um, he's still on the clonidine patch. Um, I picked some up at the pharmacy at the hospital, and I have to follow up with his PCP. She's going to handle... The weaning off of the clonidine. The clonidine isn't, um, you have to wean off the Haldol. The clonidine isn't such a big deal of weaning off, but because it's been such a stressful time and you're going into this transition and then he's going to have all these follow-up appointments and the dust appointment, then we're going to discuss with the PCP, you know, should we keep him on the clonidine for a little bit of time just to make it easier for him since we have to do all of these other things, you know. With these appointments so we'll I'll talk to her next week and that's it I mean I cannot um, I cannot believe any of this has ha happened but here we are and um, you just move forward thank you for you guys have been outrageously supportive in every way um, and just all of your prayers, all of your support, watching the videos, liking the videos, commenting on the videos, um, the donations that you guys have made to help us kind of get through this period of time. You guys are fantastic and I can't thank you enough. It means everything. So with that said, um, I'll be out dashing after Easter sometime <sighs> and we'll have more dashing videos. And, um, that's all. That is all. And there's rice on the carpet. There's rice on the carpet!